Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Khadija. Um, if you've been following my channel, then you'll already know my name. Uh, I just kind of wanted to make a video, um, just like an update video. So it is, today is November 25th of 2021. Um, man, it's been an incredible year of just stepping into new seasons, stepping out of seasons and stepping into new ones. And then, um, just all that God is doing is like super incredible. I'm talking really low right now because, um, my dad's on the phone. I don't want to scream. And he's like, are you calling me? I'm not. Just talking to my YouTube, YouTube friends. Um, yeah. So just kind of 2021 has been a year of like reflection for me to be able to look back and just to see how much I've grown in Christ. There's some videos on my channel from like, um, maybe like a year or a little bit less than a year after I was filled with the Holy Spirit and just to see where I was in the beginning stages. And December 14th will be seven years since I was filled. That is, it. that's crazy to me. I didn't even think it was that long. Like I still feel like a two-year-old walking with Jesus and there's always so much to learn and I'll never get to the point of like, oh, I know everything. It's like, no, there's so much to learn about God's love and, and just how to be more like Jesus. Like, it's incredible. So, um, but yeah, I just, again, just looking back on my YouTube channel and just back on everything that God has done. Um, so my journey started in 2014 where I was filled with the Holy Spirit at a Bible study that I was invited to. And prior to that, I was seeking um, Jesus like never before. I knew that he was real. And I knew that if I were to die um, at the time that I was seeking him, that I knew that I would be separated from him for all of eternity. I had no doubt about it. The way that I was living my life was for myself and not for Jesus at all. He wasn't my savior. But after coming to that realization and just being like, no, um, like God was like tugging on my heart, like for a long time since the age of eight. And, um, when I started seeking him, that was 2014, I would have been 19. I think it was. Um, and there's a lot of things going on in the background during that time. Hopefully there'll be a day where I get to share my testimony, but, um, yeah, from October, like. Um, is when I started to truly seek him. And then two months later, just watching a whole bunch of like testimony videos and people, you know, I knew something, I knew that there was something that had to happen. You know, like I see these testimonies and I didn't realize that it was the Holy Spirit that they were being filled with, but I knew that there was something, that there was like God's presence that like encapsulated the person. And so I remember being like in this room, in the corner right there by the door. By my, I was home alone. I came home for, after hanging out with my ex-boyfriend at the time. And I was just bawling my eyes out. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I need you. I choose today to make you my savior. It wasn't a sinner's prayer. It was a prayer of repentance. It was a prayer of turning my back on the life that I, that I was living. And I was completely separate from Jesus. And I was like, I can't live this way anymore. This is not living. I'm literally just, it, it was nothing. It was like death to me. It was so dark and I didn't want to be there anymore. And I was like, Jesus, like I make you my savior. And obviously it was a lot more raw and I'm probably leaving out some details, but I do remember it was like the most honest prayer I've ever prayed to Jesus, like for the first time in my life. Um, because when I was 16, I, I did hear about like, you know, the sinner's prayer and repentance and that. I did, but it wasn't, my heart didn't truly, wasn't truly repentant. I went back to living um, just the way I was living before. So yeah, when I was 19, in college, in a relationship, and just a lot of spiritual things were happening, like crazy things, I cried out to God. And I waited, I waited for something to like, I my door was propped open. And I was like, something, like, I know that you, like, 
there is something that needs to happen. Like, I was waiting for something to just come through my door and just whoosh, completely encapsulate me. Nothing happened. And I was like, what? What is happening? So then, yeah, I prayed for a week. God, please save me. Please save me. Please save me. Please save me. Jesus, save me. Just constant. Just desperate. Like, I am not going to stop until you answer me. Like, I'm crying out to you. Like, this is, like, I've never done this. I've never pleaded. I'm usually a person that just does what I what I need to do, move on to the next thing. But like I was like I let go of control, take over Jesus. Was, so then I was invited to a Bible study, and at that Bible study was the day that I was filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, after we did worship and read the Bible, the girls that were there started talking about when the Holy Spirit just prompted them to just speak or to do something. And I was like, what is that? Like, what does it even mean? I don't know what that is. And just kind of like in my own thoughts. And then I looked at the carpet and I saw a printout of a dove. And I was like looking at like, anyone else see the dove? Like, I'm looking around like, what the heck? I've never experienced anything like this before. And then this other girl, um, her name was also Tasia. She turned and looked at me. Um, she was sitting right over here in front of me to my right and she just turned and looked at me she said Khadija you don't have to ask to be saved over and over and over again you are saved and then when she said that just like this God spirit literally entered into me I was like what is happening and like there was like a transformation that took place and I just started crying uncontrollably and I was like what is happening it, I was like like, it was such an overwhelming feeling that I couldn't help but cry. It was, like, the first time that I was able to receive God's love. And just to be filled with the Spirit, I will never forget that day. It was one of the best days of my life. Just Jesus transforming me. And that was the beginning of it. So, yeah, it was a Wednesday, December 14th, 2014. Um, fast forward to 2019, went through a lot of stuff and received revelation on baptism in Jesus name. And after getting baptized in his name, I think it was June, June 9th of 2019 was when my ministry started. Um, and I'm still kind of walking into it now, two years later, learning, I mean, um, but that was where I got to see what it actually looked like to be a Christian, where I was able, like in Mark 16, where it talks, like the end of it, where it talks about, you know, you will baptize them in my name. Jesus says to the disciples, baptize them in my name. When you lay hands on the sick, they will be healed. You'll be able to cast out devils in my name. Um, when you drink anything, <clears throat> anything poison, it will not, it will not um, kill you. All those things and I started to see that like the Lord was using me to like lay hands on people and I was I've, I've been able to witness people being healed and I was like this is it still blows my mind um but yeah just looking back I'm like where God took me from and where I am now I am I'm honored to be able to walk with Jesus and I'm far from perfect but Jesus loves me so much and yeah, I just want to encourage anyone who's watching this video that sorry this is a long video but I don't know why I felt to share this but if you ever have any doubts or thoughts or like looking down on yourself <clears throat> that comes directly from the pit of hell that comes from the enemy God does not look down on us Jesus loves us he created us in his image and he desires for a relationship with us. He doesn't want to be separate from us. And so if you feel a tugging on your heart that's pulling you towards Jesus, respond to that. If you have questions, ask and you will receive. If you're seeking, knock and the door will be open unto you. Jesus is wanting and is desiring a relationship with every single one of us. Yeah.
that's all I'm feeling to share right now. Just to be separate from the world is to fully be in the will of God. Jesus says, if you love me, you will do, do as I say. And that's in Colossians. Is it? Yeah. Um, but in everything that we do, do it to the glory of Jesus Christ, right? He is the God that I serve. He is the God that saved me. And so, I choose to walk in his will, and I choose to live where he has said. And I choose to speak and believe and preach what he said. But, anywho, praying that you have a blessed day. And, um, yeah, I don't know if YouTube um, receives messages. Like, I'm looking at my channel right now. If you want to leave a comment in the video, go ahead and I can reach out to you. I also have Instagram. It's linked to my YouTube channel so you can message me on Instagram. Um, but I would love to pray for anybody that's seeking for prayer. And just connect with people who want to know more about Jesus. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video.